today we're going to talk about how to get Stable Baselines 3 to automatically stop training when it finds the best model. Here is the train function. We're declaring an instance of the model just like before. Then we're calling the learn function to kick off training. What we'll do is use a callback function to stop the training after some predefined thresholds. Note that I'm um, passing in a large number here, which essentially means we're training indefinitely and we're relying on the callback to stop the training. There are two ways to stop training. The first one is to stop training when the average reward have reached a certain threshold. In this case, we're hard coding 300 here. The second way to stop training is if the model is no longer improving. Here we're saying after five times, after five evaluations, if the model is not improving still, we'll just stop training. Obviously, we can't start counting this evaluation right at the beginning because the model is not going to be doing much improvement for quite a while. So here we set a minimum number of evaluations before we start considering the no improvement count. So this uh, hard-coded 10,000 evaluations, what does that mean? Now down here, when we declare the callback, we also specify a evaluation frequency. Uh, what we have here is every 10,000 time steps, we'll do an evaluation to see how good the model is. So 10,000 evaluations multiplied by an evaluation frequency of 10,000 is 1 million. I have that formula right here, which basically means after a million time steps, if the model is no longer improving, we'll stop training. Note that all these numbers, the 300, the 10,000, are highly dependent on what environment you're trying to train. Later on in the video, we'll try to train this bipedal walker. Just to make sure you understand how this works, let's uh, walk through the code. So after we call the learn function, training is progressing. At every time step, the callback function is triggered. The callback function is going to check the frequency. So every 10,000 time steps, it's going to check whether the model is better than the previous. If it is, it will save the model in the path that I specify right here. And if it did find a new best model, it will trigger this callback on best function. Here, this function checks if the threshold has been met. If it has, then stop training. If it has not, then continue training. If we do continue after the evaluation, this callback is triggered. This function checks if we have done 10,000 evaluations yet. If it has, and since no new improvement has been seen, we start counting towards this number. And of course, after we uh, exceed this threshold, it will also stop the training. Okay, I hope that was clear. Now let's see if we can train the bipedal walker. This is quite a complicated environment, trying to train this robot looking thing to walk. Let's scroll down to the description. It says that the solutions require 300 points or 300 rewards in 1600 time steps. So in our code, I set the threshold to 300. Uh, I can't really do much about the 1600 time step threshold. That's something that we're gonna have to observe on the TensorBoard graph. And since this is a pretty complicated environment, as I mentioned before, this is gonna stop at a million, hopefully before one million time steps, the environment can be solved. Now let's start training. So I'm gonna kick off my script here by using the command line that I've defined here. This is my version three of this code. I'm gonna pass in bipedal walker free three. I'm gonna use SAC as the algorithm. I have a video about picking algorithms, so check that one out if you don't know why I pick SAC. And that's it. Okay, this is gonna take a while, so I will be right back. And we're back. Okay, it's been almost two hours of training. Our average reward is 302. Looks like it took less than 300 time steps, so it did not trigger our no improvement callback. The other requirement for the bipedal walker was 1600 steps. We can look at the episode length. It looks like the episode right here, within 900 steps, the walker is able to accumulate 300 rewards. Okay, let's do a quick test. Hey, this looks pretty good. Let me speed it up. All right, I hope that was helpful. Reminder that my code is in GitHub, so check it out. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.